Good day, I'm Dr. Mashama Sili, Superintendent of Police, and today I will be providing an update with regards to the breaches of the COVID-19 protocol. With regards to business operation breaches, between the 27th of December 2020 and the 4th of March 2021, there were 123 breach breaches, 15 arrests, one conviction, and 108 warnings. Home quarantine breaches, there were a total of 12. 10 individuals were escorted to a quarantine site and two were cleared by the medical team prior to being transferred to a medical site or quarantine site. Minibus travel breaches, there were a total of 161 and 161 warnings were given. Individual protocol breaches, that is failing to wear a mask, there were 684 breaches, 79 individuals were arrested. Of the 79 individuals arrested, 30 so far have been convicted and fined from $200 to $500 and one person was given 40 hours community service. Of the 684 breaches, 605 individuals were warned and these were in the areas of Grosile, Marigo, Ancillary, Canaries, Castries, Viewfort and Babono. With regards to mass crowd breaches, there was a total of 15, one individual was arrested, and 14 warnings were given. Hotel breaches, there was a total of 10, nine individuals were warned, and one person was arrested. Curfew breaches, there was a total of 46, 29 individuals were arrested. Of the 29 arrested, five were convicted, and each person was fined a thousand dollars. 17 warnings were given and there are 24 matters pending. The areas where the curfew breaches took place were as follows. Viewfort, Mikud, Ancillary, Labry, Castries, Choiseul, Denry, and Babono. State quarantine breaches, there was one. The individual was escorted back to his room. There were three home parties which transpired over the weekend. Two individuals' complaints were lodged against them. And when I say complaints lodged against them, they'll be summoned to appear before the court. And one individual was warned. So far, we have no taxi breaches and no restaurant breaches. The total number of persons who have been arrested between the 27th of December 2020 and the 4th of March 2021, 124. Complaints have been lodged against four individuals and 36 convictions we've gotten so far. Prior to the commencement of enforcement by the officers of the Royal St. Lucia Police Force, we did a distribution of mass campaign throughout the various communities. Legislation was also read and explained to various persons such as the bar owners, business owners, and individuals who had issues wearing a mask. All of this was done in an effort to increase awareness. All efforts must be made in order to mitigate against the spread of COVID. There are many who follow the protocol and so we appreciate your compliance and we encourage you to continue to do so. However, there are still a few persons who wear the mask below their chin, under their nose, and believe that they are still wearing the mask. The mask must be worn in a correct manner and so it must cover our nose and our mouth and be fitted properly. I would like to remind everyone that Parties are still prohibited, mass crowd events, beach limes, river limes are all still prohibited. 
the peace officers, as according to section 57 of the Police Act, states the commissioner of police may, after consultation with cabinet, appoint fit and proper persons to be peace officers, generally on any occasion, if it appears to him or her to be expedient and in the interest of public order and safety and the overall development of the force. Section 58 states, every special constable and peace officer shall have and enjoy the same powers, authority, advantages and immunities as a police officer. We seek the continued cooperation of the public. Some individuals when asked to wear their mask properly become disorderly, verbally abusive and insultive, which takes more effort than simply wearing a mask. The peace officers were appointed to assist us to be safer, to ensure that we follow the protocols. And so they are not our enemy, but they are here to help us. So we're asking for the cooperation of the public. I'd also like to remind everyone that the curfew has not changed and we encourage persons who own businesses to close up in time so that persons do not leave businesses after the curfew hours and so persons are still lining around after seven. Bars are grab and go. We're still having some issues with bars closing their doors and selling and keeping people inside to drink. This does not help us, this does not help anyone. And so we are asking that everyone closes their business in time and go home. All of us are encouraged to do our part to ensure that COVID-19 does not continue to spread. I would like to appeal to the public to follow the protocols. Wear your mask properly, social distance, sanitize and in so doing you protect yourself your family and others thank you